My sisters and brothers, we honour Our Lady under many titles. We uh, recognise her as Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Lourdes, and many other titles that are of very high esteem uh, in our estimation. But this year, during the Year of Mercy, we recognise Our Lady as the Mother of Mercy. What's fascinating about that title is that it's literally true. She is the Mother of Mercy. Jesus is mercy personified. Jesus is the face of God in human form, so that we come to understand through all that he says and does, or all that God is and what God wants of us and what God wants for our world. And in the middle of all of that is Mary, the Mother of Mercy, so intimately connected with Jesus in that he took flesh within her body. One of her eggs was the, the half of the developmental pattern of Jesus that within him there was all this genetic material that came from Mary through her family and her forebears. And that provided the framework in which God was able to enter into our world. So when she gave birth to him, and when she held him in her arms and kissed him as a little baby, she knew that there was something very special about him, but not even she would have understood the full dimensions of what was happening. The full dimensions of what was happening, of course, became more apparent to her at that terrible moment as she stood underneath his cross and saw him die. I'm sure in her mind there was a big question as, why is this happening? Why is this happening to my son? The son that I know is someone very special and different and extraordinary. Well, I'm sure that several days later when the risen Lord appeared to her, that all of those questions were answered and she came to realise in her own way the extraordinary things that God had achieved through Jesus in breaking the bonds of, of sin and death and giving us the opportunity for new life and, and, and a new creation. So just as the Holy Spirit hovered over Mary on the day that she conceived Jesus, and we entered this new period of recreation that God uh, had brought about through his mercy. So the Holy Spirit hovers over us as the church. We stand with Mary, honouring her, asking her to lead us closer and closer to Jesus, and asking her to give us the, op the opportunity and the power to take up these gifts of the Holy Spirit that we've been given, so that we might be able to be the body of Jesus, the body of mercy, as we live in the world today. Pope Francis is an extraordinary person. Every time you turn around, he does something different to remind us of the incredible uh, depths that there are when we talk about God's mercy and its application in the midst of our world today. The big challenge for me <clears throat> is that constantly I'm reminded about how I have to take up what the Pope is saying and doing and try to put it into action in my life. What I fear is that the year of mercy might come to an end before I really get on with uh, doing what I need to do. So I'm asking for your prayers and your help so that uh, I might be able to participate in the year of the mercy in the best way that I can. And I pray for all of you that that may be true for you too. Mary is the mother of mercy. Mary is the mother of Jesus. Jesus is the mercy of God made flesh in our world.